family how are you all doing thank you for your love and support we really really appreciate you if today is the first time you are coming across us or you are seeing this face for the first time please do where to like our videos and share in this platform we react to our videos and your opinion is highlighted so please sit back Watch this video carefully, drop your opinion in the comment section, and I'll be right back. And women are of Igbo and Ibibio extraction, accused by the federal government of Nigeria of belonging to the indigenous people of Biafra, or close associates of Mazen and Kano, and were arrested from various parts of Nigeria on various dates. I'll give brief history of some of them. Ike Chuku Henry, the father of a four months old baby at the time of her arrest and the husband was arrested alongside his wife, this lady here, and the baby as well then by members of the Nigerian army at about 2 a.m. from their residence in Okunano, Enugu South, local government on the 23rd of August, 2021, until today, we have not set our eyes on him. The wife was released the day afterwards, but after that, uh, that was all. He was detained at the military police detention room in Enugu until the 1st of September 2021 when he was moved from with a military air force jet Dunia to Abuja and kept in a counter in the counter intelligence command under the chief of military intelligence Brigadier General Onojas. And as at 23rd of, of, of December 2021, he was in cell number five of the counter intelligence command. He has not been allowed access to his lawyers and family members who led, which led to the family instituting a case at the Federal High Court sitting in Enugu. Now, it will interest you that at the Federal High Court in Enugu, the Nigerian army deposed to an affidavit that they have transferred this young man to the DSS. The court invited the DSS to appear before it and explain the whereabouts of this young man. The DSS filed a counter affidavit that they have not received him. So the man is missing between the Nigerian army and the DSS. That matter is still pending. It's awaiting judgment. We have finished all our submission. The officers of uh, the DSS were invited together with that of the Nigerian army. One Lieutenant Colonel Chi, the Ebo, represented the Nigerian army, and one Abraham Igwe from the DSS. So they are counter-accusing each other of being in custody of E.K. Juku Henry. So since August of 2021 to today, nobody has set eyes on him. Joy Godwin Odo. This is a young girl of 20 years who visited a friend to celebrate her birthday. Unfortunately, that same day, the DSS invaded that house in search of that friend. When they couldn't get the friend, they arrested Joy Godwin Odo together with all, with all the siblings of the friend in question and took them to DSS office in Enugu. This happened on the 8th of November, 2021. Then, several efforts were made in Enugu to get her released to no avail. After about five days, the relations of the young man he visited were released, remaining Joy Godwin Odo. Their reason is that she wore a certain color of clothes that resembled the same type of clothes she went to wore, for which the, they said, the army and the police said they had no issues with that, and the DSS said they had no issues with that. But maybe because this lady is not an actress or a Hollywood star, she was arrested and kept in detention. As I speak to you today, from November 8th of 2021 to today, we have not set eyes on her, despite all the efforts we made. That was the father. We, he had come here more than five times. We have gone to the DSS over five times. We had written letters to the DSS to no avail. Let us meet with our clients. It's a constitutional right. Every accused person has a right to meet with a lawyer of his or her choice. Allow this girl to exercise that right. They refused. So she had been in their detention or custody. Nobody, no relation has set eyes on her. No lawyer of her choice has set eyes on her. She was subsequently a charge was filed against her in court for wearing a cloth they say is Biafran uh, color. On the date the matter came up for hearing, the DSS did not produce him, uh, produce her. 
We don't know why. They say they had logistic problem. And as I also speak to you, a state of health, nobody can tell. A condition, nobody can tell. But it's obvious that if you are in detention in a strange place and in a strange land for that number of months, it's getting to one year now, you will know the way your health will look like eventually. Then, another, in this joy, in that regard, we had also tried to enforce our fundamental rights. The court, presided over by Justice Maha of the Federal High Court, held that her right has been infringed upon by virtue of the long detention. They also queried the DSS, who claimed that they thought that they had transferred her to the Nigerian army. Why would you transfer this girl to the Nigerian army without an order of court? And as I speak to you, despite the judgment of court that ordered them to allow the lawyer and the family member access, till today, the DSS had refused to allow us access to her, disrespecting and disregarding the order of the Federal High Court. We had written, we had pleaded, we had made phone calls, we had begged, and up to today, the DSS, the State Security Service of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has continually denied us access to our clients. This is against all provision, all provisions of the, of, the, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Another very interesting set of people are uh, Pius, and these are about uh, 14 persons. They came from Ebony State, one of them a lawyer, Barista Pius Awoke, a lawyer, leading other 14 persons, came from Ebony State to witness the trial of Mazen Nandekan on the 26th of July, 2021. After the trial, on their way back, they were stopped at Motala Mohammed Bridge, Lokoja, where they were detained for over five hours. Virtually all the Siena traveling that day were detained. They told them that uh, they, some people from Abuja wants to see them. Not knowing which group, which Siena, so they detained all travelers on that day for over five hours until the Abuja delegates of the SSS came there and picked the two vehicles, the two Siena they, are, they were occupying. As I speak to you, since that day till today, nobody has set eyes on these people. The Nigerian Bar Association, Buari Branch, had written to the DSS to allow them to have access to, Bar to Barista Payas uh, Awoke. They refused. We had written on behalf of all of them. They refused. So their fundamental rights, even the right, the simple right of access to your lawyer or the lawyer of your choice as provided by the constitution, the Nigerian lawless SSS has continued to flagrantly breach it. Another person is Emeka Ngonade. Nobody knew when they picked him up. He actually traveled to Lagos to buy goods. Goods worth over 40 million naira as we learned. The DSS intercepted him somewhere in.
they will tell you they don't know who you are talking about. That they have never met or seen or heard of such a fellow. Now, the question is this. How do you regulate what they do to people when, in actual fact, they cannot give account of who they are keeping in custody? Look at these people from Ebony, the 14 of them. The army has filed an affidavit in court denying again that the SSS transferred these people to them. So what kind of nation are we trying to build? A nation where, where democratic or otherwise democratic authority will abduct, kidnap, or arrest somebody and disappear the person. Today, it is this gentlemen and ladies. Tomorrow, it could be me or it could be any of you who will be arrested or kidnapped or abducted and your relations will not be told where you are. We believe strongly that this tactics of the, of the Nigerian security agencies is worse than those of the bandits and the Boko Haram. The bandits at least when they arrest or kidnap you will tell your relations on phone that they have you and demand their ransom. But in this case, civilized authorities who are created, who were created or are created by law will arrest you, kidnap you or abduct you and will not mention to any, any other human being in this world where you are or that they have you in their custody. Thereby effectively removing you from the custody or from the protection of every law. As it is now, if, assuming this counter affidavits they filed in the various courts don't exist, how can we prove that the army or the SSS have these people? So it has become a thorn in everybody's flesh, it has become a thorn in civiliz to civilization, it has become very embarrassing to the nation, a situation where human beings, Nigerian citizens, lives, not the life of a cow or a goat or animal, but those of human beings are taken away, those of human beings are removed and nobody questions them or the authorities consigned. There are so many gory stories of people killed by suffocation. They tie leather around your face, use cellotape and tape you up and drop you under the sun until you suffocate and die. It has happened to most of these our clients, it has happened to their relations, it has happened to so many of them whose names we may not remember, but of course we remember the names of so many others. In IRT, it has happened. At the DSS, we believe that this is what is happening, otherwise they would have that bring us to the end of this update do where to like the video share and subscribe thank you very much for always tuning in i really do appreciate share the video and tell your friends about this platform because the best thing or the best place for you to be is here turn on the bell icon so that whenever i drop a new buzz boost like this you'll be the first to notify thank you once again and remain blessed